All right, guys. So we're here in uh, Chippewa County, I believe, actually. And I was actually looking at some farms in this area. But anyway, so it's been a while since I picked up this camera. It was about uh, 1999, actually, last time I picked up this camera. But after the last year in, uh, not in, last year at, or not last year, last time I recorded that following year, uh, my dad died from, uh, from impact from a header. He was working on the header, and the header fell on him. Fooled him like a plant, like a pancake. So I kind of sucked. Uh, me, and my parent, you know, I had, I was moving around from different houses, kind of. We were around from grandparents, and uncles, and nieces' house, not aunt, nieces, but uncle and aunt's house, and all that. So yeah, since I turned 18, I kind of went to like the car mechanic business. But we were here in Chippewa County. I still lived near the UMRV, you know, uh, the Mississippi uh, River. River Valley area, you know. So, yeah. But here's the place. We have to go pick up a car from here. I kind of want to check out the farm here while I like it because this farm is actually my uncle's. So, yeah. But let's just speed down here. This truck's pretty nice. It's a 5'9 swap in here. Oh my god, a lot of stuff's happening here already. Sheesh. But, yeah. So, anyway, we're going to stop here. I don't know where the. I don't know where they want me to stop at, but. I, but I am checking out a car here. I, was, I think it's like a Camaro. I don't remember where it's at exactly, but yeah. So we're just gonna pull around, drive around here a little bit, try finding it. Pretty big building right here. That's a big building. I mean, big building. Doors are open on that. Whoa. Okay, we gotta stop here. Okay, we gotta look at this setup. Okay. Nice little Peterbilt 389, I believe. Wow, that's a big truck. That is a big truck. Anyway. That's a big truck. That's probably gonna be pretty hard to back out. It looks like it's just sitting on a separate axle itself, so yeah. We got it uh, looks like we got ourselves a international here. International 45 4900, excuse me. Pretty nice truck. But yeah. We'll stop in here. Let's get back in the truck and let's keep driving around a little bit. I don't know where to drive what I would I have to drive inside this barn or I, I could drive around it probably, couldn't I? Let's see. Uh, do I want to try it? You know what? Hey, you only live one life. You only live one life, all right? All right. Let's see. Eh, we're gonna. Where am I gonna make her? Yeah, we're, we'll make her. There we go. So anyway, it's been a little while since I recorded. I was actually sick. I still am. I need to still take medicine. I was taking medicine today, actually. So, yeah. It was kind of hard on me. It's kind of like having the coronavirus, but I do not know what the coronavirus is like. All the people out there. By the way, if you are out there and you guys actually have school off. Okay, this is definitely not the way. If you guys are, you know, getting out of school, canceling, don't go outside. Don't. I mean, I don't like saying that to kids, you know, not like to have fun. But don't go outside and do everything because, you know, you can get sick pretty easily from the coronavirus or just get sick yourself. You know, it's pretty easy. A lot, me and more farmer are actually talking about it and... I don't, I don't blame, I don't, I don't, I can't agree more what he says, really. I cannot agree more what he says, so. Oh, there's the Camaro. Wow. That's pretty stupid of me. There's the Camaro. Okay, so we're going to stop here. I'm actually going to look around. Oh, I'm going to look around here a little bit. 9410 with a 608C header. Right here is a Ford. Uh, I can't see the engine model. Uh, I can't see it either. Is that 80, 806 model? What? 846. No. Yep, 84. I could have looked. Oh my gosh. DB90. Wow, they kind of got a. Oof. I don't know if this can get out or not, but it looks like so far they cannot. It's just a little puddle. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're going to go inside and talk to the guy about the car, and I'll be back when we get out. Okay, so the guy and I were talking for a little while. It took a little bit longer than I expected. Well, not a little bit longer. It took way longer than I expected, but we're up in the car and start take a test drive on her. So we'll just back her up just a little bit. Okay, I'm pulling the clutch out slowly, slowly, slow. That's fast. That's fast. Whew. Okay. Slowly let out the clutch. Okay, this thing can go fast. I didn't even turn the headlights. That's how fast it went. This thing kind of goes fast. Kind of. I can't see any of the but This guy's lights are ter terrible on this thing. Oof. I thought I was going to hit something there, but... Nope. 
Okay, we can turn this around here, I believe. I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know. Why I trusted that, but we are going to go get this uh, put on the trailer, strap her up, and we're gonna go home to our main base in uh, Iowa. This is Wisconsin, so yeah. I don't have a lot. I haven't had a lot of eagles there recently, but let's uh, put down the ramps. There we go. Put down the ramps there. And we will back this up, and we will pull this around, f around the, on the ramps. So the reason why I kind of just skipped over all the Farm Kid series is just because I really didn't care about it. Like I know people were gonna watch it, so I said, "Eh, we're not gonna do it anymore. Screw it." But people, people were like, "I don't get the meaning of it." Blah blah. blah. I was like, "Yeah, I understand. It's kind of stupid." So I said, "Okay, we might as well just end it." You know, what's the point of it? Or what, what would be the point of keeping that series? So, but. We're going to get to uh, back to Iowa, so I will be back when we get to Iowa. All right, guys, we're just getting some diesel for the old Cummins. She actually did pretty well for the trip coming home. A heavy dog, but okay. Let me tell you guys a funny story. So I was right home, right, and I didn't put the parking brake on. And well, actually, no, I did. I think I did put the parking brake on, but I hit the brakes pretty hard because this white. Uh, it was a white Volvo sedan full of three kids and a mom. Just a single mom. Just cut me off. And I hit the brakes. I can hear eight tires go, like, it's like really, like, hard. Like, I could hear, like, a really bad, like, skirt in the back. And I go back there and check. I look. They're not strapped. Nothing was strapped. So I had to pull over in the highway. Pull over that on the highway. Strap it up. And then a Wisconsin Highway Patrol officer came up to me. And he's like, hey, why are you stopped on the side of the road? Is there something wrong? I was like, no, I just actually forgot to strap my vehicle. I didn't get a ticket, but he said, all right, and let me go. I'm glad he didn't give me a ticket for that, so. But we need to go home. I actually, today or tomorrow, or sometime soon, I have to load up some new trucks and bring them off to a department. So we're going to hop in the truck, and I'll show you guys about the place. It's kind of just, you know, starter, you know. Not the greatest idea, but we are going to go down this way. Yeah. 5-9 swap kind of loud, isn't she? You can see the building over there. That's the building right there. Well, I can't see because the mirror is blocking it. I don't know if you can see it again, but you probably won't be able Oh, right there. Yep. So, yeah, there's a couple of trucks that we got to get actually out. And they're going to actually people are gonna come pick them up today. Some of them are my trucks, but some people also call me as well. And they're asking me, hey, can you uh, can you come pick this up? I need this. I need this fix. You know, blah, blah, blah. We've had people snap their axles like in mudding before. I've been doing it for like a year, and, there, and I can't believe how much, I'm like one of the best rated mechanics out here, so I'm pretty happy. Some people were happy with my service because, you know, I just joke around with them, they, they don't take offensive jokes, like, not like offensive offensive jokes, but they won't take jokes like, Ford suck, you know, but, yeah, whatever. You know what, they don't have a sense of humor, so, that's their problem. But yeah, here we are. So let's stop here, let's give you a little tour of the beginning of the shop. I think next year, if I get enough money, I will uh, actually get, you know, start working on to a bigger, big, I mean, a big um, area. Sorry about the $25 million and $27 million I had. It's just because I was loading stuff in. I don't know how much money I'd actually have. So just know that right now. Right here, you guys already know her. Ram 3500 Cummins Turbo Diesel. Uh, it's got a 5.9 Cummins actually in it, not a 6.7. Uh, the 1970 Camaro uh, over here Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ Z71 I think it's a Vortec I don't know if they do the Vortex anymore but it's a pretty nice truck the all four all four of these are the same exact kind got the same paint got the same ram bar got the same roof rack or not roof rack but the back rack got the same kind of light bar so everything's the same on this so just saw that right now now I should have taken off these. I should have taken off the inside ones, but I kept them in because you know why? Why not? I should have taken. I, I don't know yet. Okay, over here is actually being made by John Deere, or not my by John Deere. It's made for the John Deere dealership over there. They actually do some repair stuff, and that truck is actually for a customer. I need to pull this truck out. Speaking of which, if I can get back here. Yep, there we go. Let's back her up. The truck above us is done. This truck is done. So I'm gonna pull these two out, and there we go. So actually, I have a question. So for 500 subscribers, what, what do you guys want to see for 500 subscribers? Because I'm getting very close to it. I'm 12 subscribers 
as of March 18th or 19th, I am, uh, what was it? Oh, I am like 12 subscribers away from 500 subscribers. What do you guys want to see? What do you guys, I've been trying to get a QA and a in as long as I can, but I still cannot get one in. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, what would you guys want to see? Would you guys want to see a face reveal? Or I might actually say that for a thousand subscribers. So, what do you guys want to see? Face reveal at 500 or a thousand subscribers? What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to also see? Kind of a Q and A video or just something, you know, just something different for 500 subscribers? Because we've been straight, straight grinding on FS19 for a long time. I literally have 700 hours on five on FS. Before I had like 300 hours on ATS, and that was way more than this game. So, just know that right now. Actually, no, I'll keep the door open, and we will unload the. Well, load the Camaro. Let's just drop the oh, let's drop all these straps here. Uh, one more. Yep, there we go. We got it. Okay, let's put the ramps on. All right, ramps are going down, and we're gonna hop in here, and we're gonna drive her off very slowly. I don't know why I drive her off that fast, but we're just gonna give her a little ride around town because she, you know she hasn't been really rode around a lot. I got told. I got told it's just a summer car. Kind of right here right now. It's not that bad. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty chilly. So we were going to just ride around the block a little bit. Whoa, a little fast. We'll ride it around a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Oof. Yeah, around the block, I mean around the around the whole town. I think I'm going to be going the wrong way. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, let's just stop here. Make sure we're okay. No cop, no stop. Kind of hit that there a little bit. This is my car, though, so I'm fine with it. There we go. Keep going. There we go. If you guys wonder where I live, I actually live in the shop. I actually have a little living area in there, so saw that. So I live there usually, but yeah. So let's just turn in here, turn in here. The first thing I really want to do is actually check out the car and see how it's running, make sure everything's running all right. So we're gonna just pull it in here. We're gonna make sure how it's, see how it's running, see if it runs okay. So I'll be back in about an hour and a half. All right, let's shut the hood down there. There we go. So I checked out the car for a little bit. And the car actually runs pretty well. There's some parts that can be ordered and replaced. Uh, there's a transfer box, I think, I believe, actually, in the transmission that actually needs to be checked out. So what we're actually going to do is pull up onto the lift. All right, the car is on the lift, so we're going to lift her up. Actually, before, uh-oh, uh-oh, hop off. There we go, we're good. Yeah, also, the lift doesn't have really good collision, so I kind of would like to fix that myself. So let's check under this, and I'll be back in another hour and a half. So I checked out the other... The under part of the hood of this car, some of the exhaust, like exhaust manifold, is pretty uh, rusted out. So we're just gonna keep it up there. Probably order some parts meanwhile. All right, finally got out of there. That took kind of took a little. Uh, I think I'm getting a little bit fat. Maybe I have to go for a run. But so we are going to drop this off at the John Deere dealership. So I'm pretty glad that I got this done because it kind of took a little while for this truck to get finished. I think it took me about a, about a week, probably, a week or two. The bed had been ordered, all the parts had been ordered. So, yeah, I charged it for that, so, yeah. So the next part I'm actually getting ready, actually a truck actually that's getting ordered is another John Deere truck, actually, but it's just a 2020, so I think I have to pick it up here or somewhere else today. I don't know, I'm going to pull in here, go inside, and they're gonna. I'll be back when we get that done. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Alright guys, so we're going to run back to the dealership because I need to lose some weight. But yeah guys, like I was saying, you guys want to see a face reveal or a Q&A? Because if you guys want a Q&A, you guys should start asking questions before 500. Because I've had, I've had some questions that I wrote down. But, yeah, you know, it's kind of hard to do with that. So, there we go. That's actually pretty fast. I didn't notice that. but Alright guys, so we're just going to call uh, the dealership here in McGregor. Let me just go to the phone. I had way too many Casey's Pizza this morning. Jeez. All right. Here's the phone. We'll look at the phone book. Ford McGregor. There we go. We're going to type her in. There we go. And now it's raining. So we'll just wait for them to answer the phone. Hey, this is Ryan speaking with McGregor Ford. How can I help you? Hi, Ryan. I, my name is Breaker. I'm from McGregor, Iowa. I'm actually the owner of uh, uh, Breaker Mechanics here in McGregor. I'm needing to order a 2020 F-Series for dealership here in McGregor. Okay. Let me see I have any of those stock real quick. All right. Okay, sir. So it looks like we have three in stock. We have a white and black version, a black and gray version, and then we have a full red version. Okay. Uh, I would like to take. Is the white and black like a really good seller? Oh yeah, it's probably one of our top sellers. 
And what does that have on it? Does that have like the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel or is it gasser? 6.7 power stroke diesel. It has a flat bed on it. Is that, what kind um, of bed is that? Is that a CM or Bradford? I'll tell you real quick. It's a CM. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I will actually have to take that white and black then. Uh, is that a uh, XL, XLT? Uh, it's an XL, sir. It's an XL? Yes. Okay, all right, and I will take that, I guess. Okay, um, how about well, you want something different? No, I'll be fine. I think it'll work out pretty well. It'll probably work okay. out. This flatbed is one. Of this truck, um, one of our top sellers. Also, this flatbed is a bit heavier duty than the other one. It has. It comes with a bit more indestructible steel, so it's a bit better when you're doing heavy haul or putting some heavy on it. Okay. Uh, is the, is the, I'm assuming the grill is not chromed out, or I think that is the bumper grip, or is it just like a um, blacked out? Right? Oh, let me look out the window real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's blacked out right now, but we can get that replaced for you before you come pick it up. Um, is that black, is that like black plastic tougher than chromes and all that, or is it? I can't really tell from here, but it's kind of. I'm assuming, do do a lot more workplaces order the XL and XLT levels in like platinum and all that? Platinum and King Ranch? Yeah, this is, since this truck at the market, it's a pretty big seller. We got this guy named the Rental Man Buck. He uh, bought all of them. So. Ah, hmm. That sounds like a buck. Yeah, all right. Um, um, what it looks like right now on the lot, we have one. We have, we're doing a shipping right now. Only thing is that this one comes with the shipment that we're getting right now has one stock bed chrome. So what I can do is I can pull that truck to the back and this one up the front, and then I can take the I can have my mechanics take the uh, black off the back this one and put the chrome on it. Okay. Um, I think but it would have to be tomorrow morning at the most. You can pick it up because we're. It's almost closing time here in uh yeah um well i would like to keep the black chrome on that because that's not black chrome black on it because that is actually going to the john Deere dealership nearby the class dealership i think that'd work out so better you for them keep it black or you just want to do black chrome uh we'll do the black on it i'd rather keep it keep it black so black. yeah uh and this and what kind of hitches on it is it a pintle or is it a stock now there's a gooseneck on it, no pencil. No pencil? Okay, I'd like to put a pencil in that as well. Pencil hitch on the pencil. Okay, sir, so anything else? Okay. Base price for this truck before you put all the stuff on it was eight thousand. With your new stuff on it, it'll go up to eighty five to the six fifty. Okay. Are you playing with cash or card? Uh I'll be paying with card. Alright, just go ahead and uh, give me all your information. I'll email receipt back. And we're not going to be here tomorrow. So okay. the truck will be waiting for you with your name and an envelope and stuff, the keys on the truck's windshield. Um, near the front of the dealership. So I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll be able to see it. Yeah. Uh, make sure you spell that Breaker, B-R-E-A-K-E-R, because a lot of people like to spell my name Beaker. Beaker. Okay. There you go. All right. Thank you. Uh, can you uh, fax that to me? Can I fax that to you guys? Or? Uh, yeah. We will. Receive the fax a little later because we are closed tomorrow. Okay. All right. Due to this pandemic going around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, your truck is waiting around front for you. We're going to go ahead and get that black put on it for you, and it will be ready tomorrow morning for pickup. All right. Well, thank you, Ryan. All right, Mr. Mr. Beaker, go ahead and take it easy. Yep, you too. All right, guys. We just got that truck ordered. Kind of been a while since I stopped vlogging, but that guy's really nice. Uh, he kept saying Beaker a little too much, but what, whatever. I mean, he might have just bet. Maybe he actually put Breaker down, but I'm hoping he did because, you know, people do that way too much. Way too much. So, man, that truck's so clean, though. I was making fun of the Dodge, you know, just for fun. I think I was at least. I don't remember. But, anyway, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching today's video. If you guys like the video, hit that like button if you guys are new here. Hit that subscribe button. Also, by the way, Go check out Farmer Ryan in the, in the description below. He's like 8 away from 100 subscribers. And I want him to get hit 100 subscribers after this video is released. 
because I think it'd be pretty cool to see my 100 subscribers. Because when I hit 100 subscribers, it was very special for me. I think it'd be very special for him as well. So, so you guys know, go check him out. He's a pretty cool guy. Makes pretty good content. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later, and peace out.